the amount of iron in the ocean, it's vanishingly small. If you think about an Olympic-sized swimming pool, the amount of iron in the open ocean is literally represented by just a drop of water in that swimming pool. I'm Kathy Barbeau, and I'm a marine chemist and a professor at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. I study the biogeochemical cycling of trace elements in the marine environment, so primarily iron, which can be an important micronutrient for phytoplankton in the open ocean. Those few atoms of iron play a crucial role in important enzymatic reactions, photosynthesis, respiration, and in the larger overall global cycling of carbon and nitrogen. I work in both the field and in the laboratory in my research. In the field, as a trace metal chemist, the big challenge for me is to try and get clean samples to go out on this large metal object and sample the surrounding seawater where metals are present at vanishingly low concentrations and not contaminate your samples. So I have a rosette with special bottles and special cables that I use. Uh, when I go to sea, I also bring a clean laboratory with me that we set up with a positive pressure, everything non-metallic materials, and that's where we process our samples. I work on the interface between chemistry and biology, so I also use genomic tools to look at how trace elements like iron cycle in seawater um, so that we can understand what's happening now what's happened in the past, and what's going to happen going forward.